That's right. Come on. God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy. The universe declares your majesty. my God, all the wonders you have done, and the things you plan for us, Psalm 40 verse 5. Many, Lord my God, all the wonders you have done, and the things you plan for us, Psalm 40 verse 5. Wonder. God of wonders when beyond our galaxy, in the galaxy, in the galaxy. You are And the things you planned for us, Psalm 40, verse 5. Many, Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done. And the things you planned for us, Psalm 40, verse 5. Wonder. Wonder. <laughs> well, there you have it. There you have it. Are you guys ready for night number three? Oh, oh, Pastor Ben, hold on, what, hold on. Hold on, hold on what, hold on. what, Hayden? I don't think they heard you because they were so quiet. Are you ready for night number three? You're right. You're, You're right. right. You're they better. didn't hear me, and now they did. They did. When you said that just I'm now. I'm glad I said it. Well, it's good. Well, guys, listen. We've been hearing some great stories, some awesome things that you guys have been doing in small group time, during your, uh, your track time, moms and dads have been reaching out and loving what you guys have going on here. Now remember, you got those trading cards you yep. can take home trading each night. Cards. Talk to mom and dad about what you are learning. We can have a conversation with our parents about what we're learning? Oh, we allow you to talk to your parents. Talk yeah. to your parents, yeah. guys. It's a good thing to do. I like it. Now, something that involves parents this Friday night, we're doing a big Friday night family finale right here in our large group room. The whole family's invited. You can bring your mom, you can bring your dad, you can bring your little ch chihuahua. Maybe, can, maybe leave the dogs at home. Because they could pee on you. That's right. You do not don't want, want any that. Pee I get in it. Church. So bring not your again. family this Friday. We got a whole finale going down in here with some fun surprises. It's, oh, some crazy surprises, I would say, Pastor. But right Brent. now, there's something that's not a surprise. That's right. Right now, there's a whole bunch of people here. I don't know. And who they're they are. ready. Well, they're ready to lead all these kids in worship and dance as we sing songs. To Jesus. So should we stand on up? Let's do it. Stand up. Let's get ready to worship. Jesus, running wild in your freedom. 
king will come Cause I have found this love And I believe in the sun Go ahead and have a seat. Hey, hold on. Stop everything. Maybe they didn't hear us. You don't think? Let's hold try on. again. Okay. Guys, let's hear it for Tommy, Tammy, Uncle Buck, and Dr. Evil Stay! Oh, no. Okay, okay. Hold on. Are they even here? I, I, here's the thing. I'll talk to our production crew, guys. Okay, I'll hey. listen. Okay, guys, the characters are not out here. They're where? Uh-oh. Aiden? <laughs> what is it, Pastor Brian? They are, they're busy behind busy? the stage. They know we do this every night. I know, but, uh, yeah, we can go, get, okay. How about this? Uh, this is a little bit uh, <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. weird. Sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> how about this? We're going to head on back there and get them. But instead of you guys just waiting, mm -hmm. you can come along with it. Uh, live. Ha ha. EJ, idea. If we go backstage, can your camera follow us around there and do all that kind of stuff? Perfect. Whoa, right. whoa, we're oh. already there. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. So, oh. Pastor Brent, we yeah. take this camera with us yeah. Yeah. so the, the kids can see us getting the characters. That's right, that's right. So you guys, you, guys uh, work for you stay there. Work. Cool. We'll get up there. So, all right. all right. We'll be right back. This way, EJ. Whatever that stands for. <laughs> I'm going to take my microphone off so that I don't have it here. Okay, let's hold on, make sure it's working. Can you guys hear us okay? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, All we're right. going to go track them down. Follow us. Okay. Right this way. 
Uh, I guess yeah. we can start uh, with the green room. You want to check the green room? People have food okay. in there and uh, Hopefully the bathrooms see. in there. So oh. we. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Look at this. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, what are you doing in the? Tommy, hey Tommy. 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 What? what are you doing? I'm uh, having dinner. You're having dinner? dinner? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a trash can. And what? a large group has already started. Yeah, we got to do the physical challenge. The kids, the kids are, are waiting for, are you want Tommy to come with us? Wait, wait, wait. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Tommy. Okay, well, let's go. Gross. Oh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Well, wait, wait. Uh, uh, we got to track everybody down. We don't have a lot of time. Okay, okay. I'm ready. All right, this way. Now, um, wait, wait. let's look for, we've got Dr. Evil seeing it's not Not anywhere. Guys, look everywhere because you never know where these guys are hiding. They kind of tuck themselves away. I can't sure. shoot anything anywhere. Huh. Oh, Pastor oh, yeah. Brent. Look hey. up here. Tammy! Hey, guys, it's Tammy. What are you doing? I'm waiting for the boys. Are you on a piano? Yeah. You're going to break that. We Come on. It's time for the physical challenge. The kids are out there waiting. The kids. Okay. We need her, right? Yes. Yes. We'll All bring right. her with us. Come on. Okay. Let's, Let's go, go check down. Uh, All right. We found two. We have two more to go. Yep. Two more to go. We are halfway there. That is called math. <laughs> All right. So, what, what? Did you hear that? What? It sounds like something's in the production room. Hold on. That's where all the computers are at. What, it, what oh, it? my goodness. Look at this. Oh, Look at this. It's Dr. Evelstein. <gasps> he, is he, is playing he playing Fortnite? Fortnite? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's stop. Doctor. Dr. Evelstein. Doctor. Dr. Evelstein. Hello. Dr. Evelstein, are you playing Fortnite again? <laughs> what are what you doing? Doctor, what are you doing? I am not playing Fortnite, I'm doing my research. Is that science? Smart solutions for laboratory and medical devices. What? Well, is that what you're reading? What are you talking about? <laughs> we have to what is the Fortnite? Challenge. The are kids you? are out there waiting. I don't know what you're talking about. I could have swore you just jumped from the battle bus. No! I, oh, okay. Well, what is that? I'm um, pretty sure we saw you playing Fortnite. Are you trying to embarrass me? Did you have uh, a pickaxe in your hands? No! Okay. I'm research! Okay, well, the kids need us. I'm a scientist! We need to go to the physical challenge. Let's the go. Let's go. There. We gotta come on, go. Come on. Let's Let's go. Go. Ridiculous. Go. Guys, who are we missing? Uh, you, come on. Uncle Buck. What are you Uncle doing here? All right, this way. Look, this Uncle Buck. Which way? Sounds like Uncle Buck might be in here. Hello? Anybody? Oh. Uncle Buck. Uncle. Uncle Buck! No, 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 no. What are you doing? This is church property. You uh, can't do this. Did you? What did you write up there? Buck was here. <laughs> you missed a couple Uncle words Buck, there, buddy. You at least got your name right, yeah. and you sort of spelled it good. Um, hey, the kids are waiting for us. It's time to do a game, and actually, they're all out there now. You guys want Uncle Buck to come with us? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, come on. That Let's go. Me and my friend Doreen. They called her Tag Team Doreen. I didn't know. Oh, oh. Woo. Wow. Oh, I, I, they, they love you. Know. They love you. They you love, love you, doctor. Wow. They love you. <laughs> they're you big. Do. They're big fans oh, of yours. You they love they, you, they doctor. Love you. Wow. Oh wow. Oh man. man. Now, now, hi, Pastor Brent. I got to tell you something. Yeah. What is it? What is it? It took us a long time to find. All the characters, so we don't really have enough time left for a physical challenge. Okay, okay, okay. What if we, uh, what if we did a game okay. that, that didn't take a lot of time? But so tonight in the Bible story, we're we're talking about we're talking about mountains and rock climbing and all that. So so what if we can get the kids here to build a, a mountain? <gasps> yes, that's a great idea. How about this? We need to give them something to build a mountain with. Yes. So oh, I know. Okay. They could build a mountain with lots of rocks. Big, big uh, rocks. Well, the, the rocks are kind of heavy, and I'm pretty sure only Fitness Boot Camp would be able to pick them up. Good so point. They're the rocks strong. are too heavy, too oh, heavy. I know, I know. Large loads of dirt. We can bring dirt, and we can... We could, well, we, the we dirt is a little bit messy, so we need something that's light and, and clean. Do you All know right. Hold on, let me that check in. Like Uncle that? Buck. What what is it? I got a tractor. <laughs> you have a tractor. I got a tractor. And we could you you have a lot. That's good. That's yeah. good. Unfortunately, and, and a shovel. Well, unfortunately, it's a little bit dirty. We need something more lighter weight that Lightweight, we can get to the kids. Clean. 
<laughs> what if, wait, what, <laughs> what about Tommy's brain? Well, That's not Tommy's very nice, brain? Dr. Evilstein. Uh, oh, they don't seem to like that. oh I, I've got an idea. Okay. What if we could get them something lightweight, easy to collect, so that we could build the mountains here on this stage? I think I know what you're thinking of. You, you, thinking, you know what I'm thinking of? Should we bring out the toilet paper leaf blowers? Um, oh, look here. Thank you, good sir. Oh, these are leaf blowers. Well, these are neat. Look, what they do is they've got toilet paper. So what about this? What if we spray toilet paper everywhere, and then they can collect it into big trash cans, and we can see who can make the biggest mountains? That's right. So we'll have this side of the room, put it in those trash cans, and this side of the room, put it in those trash cans. And... Uh, We'll I see like you can make idea. the biggest mountain. You ready, Pastor Brett? All right, let's get uh, some of this ready? stuff out here and ready to go. So they can all come Are out here. Are you guys ready? Help us out. So come I on, guys. Come Are on, you guys room. ready? Grab these things. We'll get them let's all ready go. to go. for me if you can, I think. Oh, there we go. I'll take more. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, thank you. Perfect. I'll take more. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take more. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect. All right, wow. That's a lot of toilet paper. Oh, we almost why, out. thank you. Perfect. That's so good. That's so good. All right, now. all right, guys. Get that toilet paper into the trash cans quickly. Whichever side has the most there should be the trash winner. cans. Get as much into the trash cans as you can. Let's go. Grab it on the floor. Time is up. Put the it in the cans. Mode. We're going to collect it and see who has the let's biggest go. Put it in the trash mountain. Cans, guys. Put so it in let's the trash do this cans. thing. Woo! Put it in the trash can. Hayden, while they're collecting, we could put the trash where the in these boxes. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. The boxes. Get it in the trash cans. Get it in the trash cans. All right, are we full? Is that all the way up? Is it in the trash Any cans? Any more left? Any more left? Kitchen chaos, yes. Anybody else want to add to your mountain? Add to the mountain? Thank you. Thank you. Add right, to the mountain. Get the trash cans. Let's Anybody bring else? Up add here. to the mountain. Let's bring them up. Add to the mountain. Add to the mountain. Perfect. All right, there's one more down there. Woo! -wee. That 
is a big, big thing right there. That's a lot. Should we go I ahead know. and dump it? All right. <laughs> Make sure this so goes in here. All righty. Did you use this one? All stinky, righty. Stinky, stinky. Woo. All right, okay. we got the trash can. So Put everybody jump the off the stage can. for us. Yeah. I'll grab it from you. Throw them in the thank trash you. can. Oh, thank you. Thank right. you. <laughs> Add to your mountain. Add to your mountain. You got it. You got it. All right. All righty. Any last minute pieces? Any last minute pieces? If you have any last minute, oh, throw it up you. here. Throw thank it up you. here. Thank you. Thank you. We're sticking it. Wow. Right. Wow, guys. Oh, That's huge. Oh, that that is a lot. All right, everybody, Thanks. jump back to your seats. Everybody, head back to your seats. Head back to your seats. Everybody, back to your seats. Back. All right, everybody, head back to your seats. Head back to your seats. Let's get those trash cans up over seats, here. Guys, back to your seats. <laughs> back to your seats. Woo! Man. Right, head, go back to your that seats. was good. That was go good. That was seats. good. All right. Head on back to your seats. All I'm, right. So. I'm glad they made their way up here just for the tiniest piece of toilet paper. Some of the kids had tiny little rolls of toilet paper. All right, let's and they bring those cans up. Let's tin. bring those cans over here. Now, here's what we're going to do. These two cans came from this side. And these two cans came from this side. So what? Go ahead and dump them in the box. That's, that's, that's a lot of toilet paper, Dr. E. Look where that back here. Oh, no, no. Uh, right back you, here. No, Uncle no, Buck. No. Uncle Daddy, Buck. Oh, oh. No, no. So here's so we what we're going to do. Into the boxes now? We're going to find out how tall your mountains are. So on this side, over here, this is a toilet paper mountain that is really, really, really high. Wow. 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 Whoa. Oh, man. Okay. So now, how tall are these? Let me go ahead and measure this one on the left. Okay. So carry the one, 12, 24. Guys, you've got a mountain that is three feet tall. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. All wow. right. Now, I say let's measure the other mountain, guys. All right. The uh oh! I am finally here! He's wait, wait, here! Wait, 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 wait! He's here! Wait! What? I have seen you on Monday. I have seen you on Tuesday. We have to know who are you? We've got now is my chance at the belt. Okay. okay. You want to know who I am? Who are you? You want to know who I am? <laughs> I am magician. Michael Byrne! Oh, Michael! Michael! Ma no, wait a second, Michael. Michael, Here's Michael. the thing, you didn't have to hide behind a mask. Why were you wearing a mask, Michael? Well, well I, I really wanted to play the games, and I didn't know if it would be okay for me to come on stage. And Here's the thing, of Michael. we want you to play the game. We want you to play the game with us. You don't yes. have to hide behind a mask. Yeah. You don't have to sneak away. We want to be friends and, and love on you. Yeah, you so know, we you love you, Michael. They would, they would like it guys, do you want Michael to play the game? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, awesome. hold on. Uncle Buck. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, Uncle Buck? That's a Harry Potter wannabe. No, 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 no. no. no, no, no. Whoa. Or no, or no. This. Whoa, like oh, whoa, whoa. Magic hands. Whoa. 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 whoa that's Mystic crazy. Man. Mystic Mac up here. Wow. <laughs> Can you ride a broom? <laughs> no, I no, rode no. a broom here. <laughs> Wait, brooms are for cleaning, guys, not yeah, riding. Yeah. Here's yeah, the thing. Did you have something you wanted to tell us, Uncle Buck? I do. What is it? What is it? He said he wanted to compete for my belt. Well, uh, it's, I do want the belt. Well, here's the yeah, thing. The belt is up for grabs. No, no. Anyone could win it. Anyone could win it. The kid win took it. my belt the other night. The kid took your belt the other night. Yeah, so I got another one, the pretty one. Yeah, the nice one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Our Westridge kids but, serve yes, belts. Yes, that's I, I the want, belt. I want to, I want to challenge him. Oh, whoa, hold whoa, on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let me get something straight, whoa. Uncle Buck. Are you challenging whoa. magician Michael Boone right now? I, I, I am. What, what? What? Is, what is the challenge, Uncle Buck? Name your challenge. What's the challenge? I say. We go racing goats. We race wait, goats. Wait, 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 no, what no, kind no, of a no, challenge wait, is that? We don't have any goats. goats. We can't race no goats. No goats. Do you have another challenge? I, I, 
How about we have a food fight? Wait, a wait, food wait. fight? Are you saying you are uh, challenging magician Michael Boone to a food fight when this Friday? Wait, 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 wait. wait. wait, wait. So what if, while your parents are here with you this Friday, you guys have a Buck versus Boone Friday night food fight uh, for the Magician belt? Michael Boone, do you accept this challenge? You know what? I accept your challenge. I'll go back to a food fight here Friday night. Guys, Friday night, Buck versus Boone food fight. You have to be here to see it. <laughs> hey, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. All we'll right. See. We'll see. Guys, make sure you are here. Friday night, we will right. see who walks out of here with that belt. All right, Friday night, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your family, you got to be here Friday night for the Buck versus Boone Friday night food fight. Now, will you still join us tomorrow here at Surge for a fun physical challenge on stage? Absolutely. All right, well, hey, well, everybody say bye to our characters. Here we go. Bye. Bye, Michael Boone. It's so good. So good. Who is this? Who are you? Oh, all Ooh. right. Ooh, I'm meeting all these Great. new people. While we get them back there, stay seated. Let's get ready for the Bible story. That got a little crazy up here, didn't it? Did you guys have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I did too. I did too. Now, as much fun as we have at Surge Camp, still, one of my favorite times is when we get a chance to open up God's letter to us, the Bible, and hear what the God of the universe wants to teach us tonight here at Surge. And so if you're Streaming online at home, a lot of your families are on our Westridge Facebook page and they're on our website watching this thing. And we can be teaching mom and dad too because the Bible, is it just for kids? No. Is it just for adults? No. The Bible, God's word, is for? It's for everybody. And we've been focusing, you guys, on talking about, well, last night, gifts. In your small groups, you talked about Gifts, things God puts inside of you that you're good at. Things God puts inside of you that, that you enjoy doing. And you can use those things to change this world. Now tonight we're going to be talking about another purpose for you here on this earth. And it made me think about this story in the book of Matthew. So you guys know that there's the Old Testament of the Bible... All the things about God creating everything and the whole story. And then there's the New Testament. That's when Jesus leaves heaven to come to this earth and he's born as a baby. And he grows up and at 30 years old, he starts a ministry. And this ministry is, is, is Jesus healing and teaching and loving people. Well, there were some people called the Pharisees that didn't like Jesus. I know. Listen to this. These Pharisees, not only did they not like Jesus, I'm sorry, they hated Jesus. I know. I, I don't. It's a true story, and we find out they hate him so much, they will stop at nothing to trick him and to try to get him put to death. Well, one of the tactics, one of the tactics they tried was, let's ask him a question that he cannot know the answer to. So in the book of Matthew, we find out that uh, 
they ask him this question. Chapter 22, they say, Jesus, um, what is the greatest commandment? What is the greatest commandment out of all those commandments? The Ten Commandments, all these Jewish laws, what's the greatest one? And Jesus, being God's son, he knows exactly what they're doing. And Jesus says, well, the first one, love God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength. Love God. And Jesus is like, but I'm going to tell you the second greatest commandment. Love your neighbor. Okay, Jesus, wow, that's good. And, and right then they realized, uh-oh, he had the right answer. We, we can't put him to death yet. Let's plot again to try to find a way to arrest him and kill him. But they took away something. They took something in their brains and in their hearts and it was written down by Matthew, the tax collector, the follower of Jesus, that said, now we know the greatest commandment. The greatest commandment is love God. Yeah, but the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor, love others. Now, guess what? It's kind of hard sometimes to love people, especially the not nice ones. It's so hard. It's like, um, have you ever tried to climb something really tall before, right? I'm not talking about just a toilet paper mountain. I'm talking about maybe you've gone to a mountain nearby or you've gone on vacation and you climb it. Does it get tiring once you're climbing up that mountain? Yeah, I decided a little bit ago I was going to go try the Ninja Warrior track and... Um, we shot our next YouTube video today. So a few hours ago, me and the guys got together and we, we shot our next Westridge Kids YouTube video out there on our Ninja Warrior track. And that video comes out this Sunday at 9 o'clock. All right, so you can go onto our, our, our YouTube channel, Westridge Kids, and check it out. This Sunday it premieres at 9 o'clock and then it's there for you to watch whenever you want. But we went out there and I decided, I just had to show you a piece. Because it works so well into our Bible story. Because I learned it, it's, it's kind of difficult. But in the midst of being difficult and hard, we need to remember. We could get down. We could get frustrated. We could get angry. But we should keep loving people. And showing the kindness that God wants us to do. So I want to let you take just a little bit of a look at me trying my best to do the climbing wall. Take a look. All right. All right, ready. Are you guys ready? Ready. Hey, before I go, I, I just love how we're all connected. Yeah, yeah, friends. yeah, yeah. Go, we go love to the each wall. other. Friendship point. Friendship Good point. Job. Put one on the Good screen. Job, buddy. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Just you, all in. You just can't wait. Oh, man. Okay. Good job, Tim. Okay. High five, buddy. High five. Put your horse. Get set. Go. Yeah! Yes! You guys go it. You Thank you guys. You're a friendship Stay with it. Do you it. I just wanted to jump onto the wall. Great it. job. It. Stay with it. Okay. Stay with it. All you right. got this. You got this. You got it. Touch, touch, touch. You got it. You got it. You got it. Touch, touch, touch. You got it. Touch that one. Touch this, Matt. Get, Get, Get the green one. Get the green one. There you go. Green's on the other side. Yeah, you got it. Got it. Yes. Yes. I think Woo. I won. Did I Woo. win? I definitely did great. Yes. You get point five yeah. six. Is that the winning time? <laughs> That's the highest time. <laughs> I win because of like football games. I'm telling you, that is not easy, guys. <laughs> now, um, but this is what I learned. Through difficult situations, you can take and learn from people. Do you know the more you get to know people, the more you find out things you can learn from them. The more you get to know people, you can find out, wow, they know things you don't know. For me, I might not know how to do that very good, right? I might not know how to climb that very good. But that's good training for when there is a bigger mountain to climb, right? It's tough to climb these mountains, but we need to realize that just like climbing a mountain is tough, loving people, 
that are not nice to you, that's tough. Loving people that are mean to you, that's tough, isn't it? Uh, loving and showing kindness to people that are really, really nice to you, that's easy. But I'm telling you, uh, uh, somebody that shares things with you, is that easy or, or, or tough to love them? Yeah. What about um, you find someone and they're, they're kind of annoying? Is that easy or tough? Guys, I know. What about, um, what about you find someone and all they want to do is argue with you all the time? Is that, is that easy or tough? I hear you. These things are tough. But listen, even though they're tough, God shows you unconditional love. That means even if you're tough to be around, even if you're maybe not loving God as much as you should sometimes, he loves you no matter what. He's got you. No matter what, he is going to keep loving you. And we found something that... I learn from people. Like I, our big idea tonight is, I wonder what we can learn from others. I think you can learn a lot from a, a, a teacher at school, math, science, reading. Right? I think you can learn a lot here at Surge Camp from your small group leaders. Right? While we're learning here, I think you can learn a lot from a, a mom who's been through a situation, or a dad who's trying to help you along. And we need to le learn that that's what the Bible tells us. We can all learn something from others. And the more you get to know people, the more you can learn to love them even more. Now, in the Bible, I'm going to turn to a book called 1 John. Everybody say, 1 John. Everybody say, 1 John chapter 4. Everybody say, 11. Everybody say 11. Everybody say wicked, 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 woo, woo. I just wanted to hear you say it. I just thought it was funny. Kind of sounds funny. Now, 1 John chapter 4, verse 11, we learn something directly from what God is teaching us. Listen to this. This letter was written to people that were having a hard time loving people around them. So this is what we learned. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we ought to love one another. Well, that seems so simple, but so hard to do. Guys, if, if, we, if we have a hard time loving others, the first thing we should do is to realize who loves us first. God. He loves us so much, he sent Jesus to this earth to die for you. And after he died, three days later, he came back to life. And he promised you something. He promised you that if you believe in him, he'll save you from your sins. And one day you'll go to heaven to be with him forever. The question is, have you prayed a prayer and put your faith and your trust in Jesus? Have you asked him into your heart to be your Lord and your Savior? If not, talk to your small group leaders about that. If not, say, I, I've never prayed I, and, and asked Jesus into my heart. Maybe tonight's the night. Because I'm going to tell you something. If Jesus is not in your heart, sometimes you're going to find it tough to love others that seem to be unlovable. But if Jesus is in your heart and he has saved you, you're going to find that his Holy Spirit can help you show love to others even when you don't want to. Even when you're like, uh-uh, I can't do it. I, it's, it's so tough. You can say, Jesus, help me. Now I found another verse. It's in 1 Peter. Everybody say, first. A Peter. A first. A Peter. Say First Peter four. First Peter four eight. Wicked chicka, wicked chicka, wah wah wah. Guys, that's just fun. I mean, twelve hundred kids yelling wicked chicka, wicked chicka, wah wah wah. I, 
I like it. I like, okay, listen, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, listen, shh. Verse 8 says, above all else, listen, first greatest commandment is to love God. Second greatest commandment, above all else, love each other deeply. Love each other deeply. That means when you're a sport or art, man, show kindness and love to each other. When you go home and you're in the car on your way home, and your brother, your sister's flicking your ear and they're annoying you, right? Right, you know. Show love, forgiveness, compassion. But Pastor Vern, it's so hard to do. I know. But God will help you. Jesus is there with you. His Holy Spirit lives inside of you. So what can we learn from Peter? What can we learn from John? Love. Others, love others. Everybody say, love God. <laughs> love others. <laughs> so I don't know about you, what I'm taking away from this, what, uh, kind, of, kind of the bottom line, the point to this story. We have to love others. Why? Because God does. We have to love others like God does. Now listen, it reminds me of um, um, this invention called silly string. Now, silly string, if you've ever heard of it before, it is probably the greatest invention known to mankind, right? I mean, this silly string is a colorful, stringy item inside of this. But if it stays inside of this, is it very much fun? So think about this for a second. You have a, a body that you're in right now. And if you keep all that love inside of you, it doesn't do much good, does it? What do we have to do with the love that God put inside of us? Everywhere we go. We got to spread it everywhere we go. Because... It does no good just sitting in your body, does it? It does good when it comes out of your body like this, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if it comes out like this silly string is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now, silly string is silly. It's string-like, right? Now. Let me take a look at this. I finally got a piece I can use. This right here. This was inside of here. But yet it's this string. Imagine what is inside of you that God can use if you're willing. God can use it if you're willing. Your love can go out there to this world. The love of Jesus can spread everywhere you go. And love can't stay inside of us. God's love for you is pouring out everywhere, everywhere we go. And the love that we should be sharing with others needs to pour out of us. But, but I'm tired sometimes, Pastor Brent, I know. But I don't want to show love to others sometimes, I know. But no matter what, that love should spread so that people see that you're a Christian. So that people see that you can love God, with your whole heart, think about the toilet paper. The next time you are uh, going to the bathroom, I want you to think about this. Please don't think about Uncle Buck or Dr. Evelstein. No, no, no. Think about toilet paper. It's all compact right here, just together. But the second we put it in, this toilet paper shooter gun, what does it do? Everywhere, everywhere. Now, your life is like toilet paper. I'm sorry. If you just keep it all to yourself, how's that love going to spread? But if you realize that God loves you, now you should love others, it can be like putting this in a toilet paper shooter where it went 
everywhere all over this place. Piles of it, mounds of it. Now, as we wind down this story, I wanna pray for us and remind you that you'll get a trading card in your small group, but we can take away and tell mom and dad, mom and dad, help me. Help me love others like God does. So everybody close your eyes. Let's pray. And let's talk to God right now. I'll lead us. You just keep your eyes closed. And think about this. While I'm talking, the God of the universe is listening to us. Let's talk to him right now. Jesus, God of this universe, thank you for what we're doing right now, opening up your word. And we're finding out the first thing, the greatest commandment, is to love you, God. And then after that, God, you've told us to go love others. God, we're going to go through difficult situations. Life's not always going to be great. Sometimes bad things are going to happen. Sometimes parents are going to be going through difficult things. A grandparent is sick. A brother or sister is not being nice to us. A friend is talking bad about us. Life is going to be tough. But God, you've still called us to love others, even in the difficult situations. So God, I want to right now pray on behalf of these kids that God, you will help them. Help them be kind and compassionate and loving to people around them. God, help us love our families, our friends, our neighbors, our, our teammates, even our enemies the same way that you love us. God, open our hearts to accept others, to listen to their stories, their struggles, their feelings. Thank you for all the people you've placed in our lives that we can learn from. Help us love those people. God, thank you for our small group leaders that are about ready to take us out of this room and lead us in a time focused on you. Jesus, we love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.